Yo, what's up you guys? It's Noble Creation TV back to you with another exciting edition of NBA um, Playoff Talk. So basically we're going to talk about the Cavs and adjustment that the Cavs need to make in order to try to win some games in this series. Um, basically what you basically have is a team in the Golden State Warriors who've been there and done that. You already know the history on it. I don't even have to talk about it. But I'm going to talk about right now from the standpoint of the Cavs and why they're not being successful. Number one, um, it started back with the trade um, situation. The Cavs don't have anyone that can beat their man off the dribble. They don't have any man that can create their own shot besides LeBron James and a little bit of JR. He can do it a little bit at times and um, as well as George Hill a little bit at times. But you don't have a guy in Wade and Derrick Rose and also a little Isaiah. Um, I think these guys should have probably been on a team still. I think these guys should have worked, worked through whatever they was going through, the hard struggles of losing games in the beginning. Um, any, any way it go, LeBron still was going to make the playoffs, no matter what seeding he came in. And it doesn't matter what seed you, you're really in. It, it just matters if you can win when you get into the playoffs. And the biggest adjustment that I see that the Cavs need to make right now with this current roster is they may have to bench Jr. Um, I think Jr. is better suited at coming off the bench and being the sixth man. I think he will provide that energy and that spark that they need from the bench. I think that Rodney Hood should be starting. You're talking about a guy that averaged almost 17 a game and was the leading scorer for the Utah Jazz until he came over from the trade. And they got to get Rodney Hood's confidence back, man. Um, that's one thing that he lost. I think he lost confidence because he wasn't playing. He was getting a lot of DMPs. And I think that the Cavs need to allow Rodney Hood to play some minutes. Um, putting the guy in, Ozman, he ain't really doing anything. And I don't understand why they're putting Ozman in ahead of Rodney Hood anyway because he's not a better player than Rodney Hood. I don't know what type of relationship or what's going on with him and LeBron, but whatever they're going through, they need to try to mend it. Um, whatever um, court relationship that, the, that, they, that they have, they need to try to mend it for these finals. Um, the Cavs are not going to beat the Golden State Warriors without a team effort. And we saw that with the Houston Rockets. Um, when Durant was coming to the hole, you had Clint Capella right there ready to block his shot. And the Cavs don't have that. That's one thing that the Cavs have not really – ever really had is a guy that can consistently block shots. Now, Tristan Thompson is an energy guy, but he's not a shot blocker. He's more like a, a rebounder and um, alley-oop type of guy and putbacks and can, 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 can score down low. Tristan Thompson can score down low. And um, the thing about it is the Cavs have not, Teron Lou has not made an adjustment. He's steady, consistently going out with JR, and JR is inconsistent, man. He's scoring five points in the finals, and Klay Thompson is pretty much outplaying him on a bum leg. Um, and, it's, and, it's, and it's crucial right now, you know, especially for game three on Wednesday. If the Cavs want to win at least a game in this series, man, they're going to have to show up, man. And uh, LeBron, um, you know what I'm saying, he's going to need a team effort. He can't do it all. I don't care if he scores 50 or 60, 60 points because – the Golden State Warriors is willing to let him live with that. The Golden State Warriors pretty much got it in their mind that we'll let LeBron do whatever, but the rest of your guys ain't going to get off. And they got us some kind of way. See, last game they kind of trapped LeBron and tried to take the ball out of his hands. So I think that's what the Cavs need to do as well with uh, um, Curry and um, Durant. Try to get the ball out of those guys' hands and let Draymond or Clay beat you. You know what I mean? You got to – Find as a head coach, Tyron Lou, you have to find a way to be able to get this team to get a win. Because if not, this thing is going to be over real soon. Um, so whatever differences that LeBron and Rodney Hood have, or whatever is going on, the Cavs need to allow Rodney Hood some clock time because I think he would probably be better suited in these finals right now, starting than it would be Jr. JR needs to come off the bench and be the sixth guy. So, all right, guys, let me know in the comments section what do you think the Cavs need to do as far as getting a win. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And this is Noble Creation TV. Peace.